Hi, I'm Alex Bizu with quick tips on how to write a good and passing essay on con law, admin law and Indian law on the Washington State Bar exam. When I see a con law essay, I do a quick uh, cheat list uh, on the question itself where uh, in 10 to 15 seconds I put these words just to remind myself that I addressed uh, the, the con law issues because probably I will not be able to do that um, next time maybe there will be only one con law essay the um, a true con law essay without admin law blended or, 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 or Indian law so I put equal protection due process levels of scrutiny contracts clause privileges and immunities clause takings free exercise clause establishment clause gun wall uh, arbitrary and capricious and standing surf requirement for standing, exhaustion, uh, ripeness, smoothness, and finality. So when I do this list and I do it uh, with uh, abbreviations, you know, like EP, DP, uh, P, P and I, DCC, Dormant Commerce Clause, um, I missed in my list now. But um, when I have that list in front of me and I see, okay, there is somebody discriminated, you know, on the basis of age or gender. Aha, uh -huh, so it will be equal protection. or. Uh, somebody is doing commerce out of state. It will be a dormant, uh, dormant commerce clause and probably a P PMI, uh, PNI. Uh, so I will not miss that. I will advise you to do the same. On admin law, there are three basic areas that you have to remember. For rulemaking, it's a notice and comment requirement. For um, um, administrative uh, review and administrative hearings, it's a procedural due process. There is a notice requirement. Uh, f uh, and, and the time requirement and of course surf as I already uh, told you uh, Indian law is all about jurisdiction federal court jurisdiction Washington uh, jurisdiction and tribal jurisdiction they will give you a situation when Donna goes to the casino uh, on um, Indian land you know so you will um, discuss what is Indian country and after that uh, um, a driver who is not an Indian uh, negligently or, or who is in, in uh, Indian uh, to make it more uh, interested uh, interesting uh, drives her back um, and while they are still on the e Indian land uh, but on the public highway um, the, uh, he negligently drives uh, that van into into a tree but it's in the uh, it's off-road, you know, so the van goes off-road and you're thinking oh, is it on a public highway or not? Of course it is on a public highway. The accident occurred while they were uh, there, so he committed that act driving on the public highway, so the Civil uh, Rights Act, Indian Civil Rights Act will be uh, triggered uh, and uh, Washington does have jurisdiction. I advise you to do 10 essays on constitutional law, 5 essays on administrative law, five essays on Indian law. Uh, Indian law is never tested on the full essay, but who knows, maybe they will trick you into that, or maybe like a little bit of seed fro and the Indian law full essay, but it was never tested before. Uh, so do uh, uh, f uh, five uh, essays where Indian law uh, is a, a portion of, a, uh, of an essay. So I did 8.5 essays on con law, six on admin law, three on Indian law in my study course. That was enough for me. But if you are not comfortable, do up to 15 essays on con law, up to 10 essays on uh, admin law, so you can remember. Um, I advise you to do uh, 100 to 150 essays total for all subject areas, and you will be good. Uh, I wish you all the best of luck on the Washington State Bar Exam. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.